Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Nikayla here and I make natural hair, beauty, and lifestyle content. So if you're new around here, thank you. Thank you for joining. I don't know how you found me, but I am very glad that you did. Why don't you go ahead and hit subscribe so you can see all my new videos when they drop. Oh, and might as well go ahead and just like this video right now. That's right, just click like because it's gonna be a good one. I'm gonna be sharing how I blend my hair with a U-part wig. So U-part wigs can kind of have a learning curve and I know for some it can be intimidating. So I'm gonna break down how I part my hair, how I set my hair so that it blends with this U-part. So this is a kinky U-part which matches my texture perfectly. It is a 4B, 4C texture. It's from the company Her Given Hair. 20 inches long, natural color, and small cap size. Now, I'll show you also how I set the hair, what products I use with that, and everything I do to basically be able to plop this on and go. It doesn't take a lot of time. I did this last night, and I just put it on this morning, and I'm ready to go about my life, hop on my Zoom calls, and all that good stuff. So, let's get into it. All right, guys, so you know, first things first, we are going to co-wash this hair. It comes to you pretty matted because it's been in a box, so I'm really just trying to bring the curls back to life and also detangle, okay? Detangle all that matted hair away, and you don't need a shampoo because there's no product residue or anything like that. It's a fresh new wig, so I just go in with the conditioner. Right now, in this video, I am using the Aussie Three Minute Miracle Moist Deep Conditioner. Honestly, I'm just trying to get rid of product from my stash, so <laughs> we're at the end of the bottle here, all right? And I am raking that through with my fingers at first, finger detangling, just to get a loose detangle of all the coils. And then I'm going to go in with my Felicia Leatherwood brush, which is the OG king of detangling brushes, especially for kinky coily hair. So I use that to get out the tangles even more. And I'm gonna finish detangling once I have the hair on the wig stand and I put the product in. Today I will be doing a wash and go on both the wig and my own hair. So let's squeeze out that water squeeze it out so it looks wet as you can see there's some tangles that i'll be taking out once i move it to the wig stand okay so we're on the wig stand the wash and go will be done with the kinky curly curling custard and uncle funky's daughter's curly magic curl stimulator that is a mouthful so i got the hair on the wig stand i am sectioning it off so that i can do the wash and go one section at a time and detangle one section at a time i use these lovely clips they're really really helpful i use these on my own hair as well and guys i am also pinning the hair to the wig head this time that really helps just to keep the hair in place even if the wig head itself moves at least the hair stays in place and it's not slipping and sliding all over the place this does not hurt the wig at all so i'm gonna go ahead and section off the last two sections so that i can get started let's go so first things first i grab my kinky curly curling custard and i just take a little scoop not too crazy in my hands then i emulsify and go in to the wig and i finger detangle rub it through to get through all the strands and then i go in with the felicia leatherwood brush i start at the ends to get it really separated and then i proceed to work my way up to separate these kinky curly coils okay then i go in with a little bit more product to make sure i'm getting to all the strands and really setting that hair all right now it's time to add some of that curly magic on top so the natural hair community has told me to layer with botanical gels i really just heard about wash and goes like last year so this is what we're doing and honestly it does work on my hair i just find i need a, like a little bit more heavy duty for my hair though so once i have the curly magic you'll see that the hair is really starting to cooperate now well my hater wig head is once again tilting all over the place however the wig is starting to get really really detangled and i am spraying more water to make sure i'm saturating that hair because this works best when your hair is really wet super saturated so i go in with water i go in with the curling custard and i go in with the curly magic to each section one by one and look how defined that is then I add my finishing touch, which is Nairobi 
foam just to help with the set even further. So this is how it looks once I'm done prepping the hair and I'm gonna leave it like this overnight. It's gonna dry like this. All that whiteness you see is gonna disappear. It's not gonna leave residue. And this is about how much shedding I have from this unit. Girl, bye. Okay, so now it's time to set my hair. Make sure you got your water bottle on deck, your spray bottle. Make sure you still have Kinky Curly curling custard in front of you and <laughs> I'm bringing in the bad boy, the extreme wet line gel because we need serious set, okay? So I have washed and detangled my hair. I have it shaped in a U formation. My leave out is in a U formation and the rest of my hair is cornrowed back with leave-in conditioners. Like I said, this is beginner friendly. I am not some professional stylist who does perfect cornrows, but it's it's really not necessary. You do not need that. So I'm going to go in with my spray bottle, then my kinky curly coiling custard, then the wet line gel. And I just layer it one on top of the other, okay? Really straightforward there. So this is what it looks like once all that product is in. Again, this does not leave residue for me. So all that whiteness or anything you think looks white, that is gonna disappear. You're gonna see the next morning, it is all going to be black. The last thing I do is I take my diffuser and I diffuse my curls to help with the drying process. So this is the next morning. Oh, actually, I'm lying. This is the same night. <laughs> this is after I'm done diffusing. And what I'm doing now is I'm gonna pull my hair back under this wig cap and then apply a scarf and a bonnet to keep my hair set and stretched for the next day because that hair needs to go over the wig track as my leaf out. It needs to cover and make sure that I don't get exposed. So I gotta keep it stretched. All right, so after I pin it back, I don't pin it at the ends, I pin it kind of in the middle, and then I tuck it in under the wig cap. Um, this part does not have to be perfect either, as you'll see, there's like, not every hair actually even makes it under the pin. <laughs> but the important thing is that I have just pulled it back and tucked it under the wig cap and told it to stay in place for the night. So boom, this is how I prep my hair to blend the next day, you guys lay the edges back and put on my scarf and bonnet and I go to bed. Good morning, it's the next morning and I put on a little earring for you guys, got a little glam and look at my leave out, it is ready for you guys, okay? So this is how that you part leave out part of my hair looks look it's all black there's no residue that's me just taking out the pin and it is ready to do some blending okay it is completely dry and I'm just gonna go ahead and put a fresh dry wig cap on and I'm gonna grab my unit now so my unit has completely set as well overnight like I said no residue completely black and ready to go so I pull it out if I didn't tell you before, I did cut out that U part section. So now, here's what you do. You flip it over. <laughs> you put that wig strap over your hair to secure it in the back. And then you're gonna take that clip. I hope you guys can see this. Take that clip, right? Take that comb and tuck it into the cornrow. And that cornrow is right above your leave out so that once it's tucked in, you just grab your leave out and pull it over so here's another demonstration okay so that's my cornrow that's the comb i'm tucking it right where the, the the bottom part of the u is and i'm making sure all of my leave out is not pulled into that so that it can cover all of the wig track okay and so the last part is just continuing to tuck Continuing to pull and prep your leave out to make sure it covers the U. So right now it's kind of hard for me to do because I'm looking into the camera. So I'm going to do a little bit more off camera where I just make sure that all of my hair is covering the middle part. That middle part will get you, okay? You don't want people standing behind you like, hey, what's going on there? So <laughs> you're going to grab your handheld mirrors. You're going to look in back of you as much as possible to make sure that your hair is all the way blended and another thing you can do 
is take some of your hair and kind of take the end and twist it into some ends of the wig. I didn't get to do that in this video, but basically, you know, you kind of do a loose little twist so that it goes together even more. So boom, here you have it. This is how it looks. And this is the first pass, okay? I'm gonna continue to fluff it throughout the day. It gets better as you go. It just gets even more natural looking. It's kind of like having first day hair versus second day hair, like, but even still, look at this blend. Look at this. This hair is so easy to go with my hair. All right, guys, so this is the final result of my Her Given Hair You Part tutorial. I really love how it came out. I feel like it was really, really easy to blend and it matches my natural hair leave out. This is what I would do anyway for a wash and go, but this just has more volume. So I love the fact that it's really easy for me to pop on and have a seamless blend with it. With this, now that it's set, I'll just leave it like this and it can go like weeks without having to reset the wig itself. And then of course, I like having my leave out out because my edges are the most sensitive part of my hair. And I mean, that probably goes for a lot of people. But for me right now, I'm really trying to moisturize wet with water and revitalize my edges as much as possible. So I don't want them tucked away in cornrows or even um, in headband wigs too much. I love having a U-part wig for that reason. So I hope this helps somebody else. I hope this gives you an option for a way to have a protective style or tuck both of your hair away and have a really easy way to just put on a wig and go. And I'm just showing you the sides so you get a full view of what it looks like. All right, guys, if you like this video, go ahead and click like, and also subscribe to this channel for more awesome video content like this. And if you wanna find me outside of YouTube, I'm at Nikayla TV on Instagram. Talk to you soon.